Daryl, a bit of a difference we're doing this at the moment. Um, fans going to be able to watch you train today? Yeah, open day. So no, it's great to be able to do that in, in term time, so they can have a look down of how rubbish I am as a manager and how bad my coaches are. So it's good. <laughs> um, let's reflect first of all on the Oldham game. Um, a, a good one-nil victory. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the most entertaining game in the world. Uh, but for me, it's about getting the three points and trying to take it take it a bit further, which we did. It was nice to get a change over the results going going well for us as well. So we we go into another week. We praised Ellis after the Wimbledon game for his work rate. How pleased were you that he got a goal on Monday? Yeah, listen, for, for me, him, him and Gaffney, they're on 15, 16 goals. I think they'd, between them, as, as big number nines, I would like that to be up to about 20, 25. Obviously, we've missed goals since Matty's not been in. We haven't produced as many, but the, I think it's 33 points we made in the first half of the season and 33 points we've got in the second half of the season so far with two games to go. So there's, there's plenty of positives moving forward. Yeah, we don't class Ellis as a youngster anymore, but he um, he's still learning, isn't he? Certainly is, yeah, certainly is. I'm, I've got a lot of time for Ellis. I mean, people, what, what tends to happen at football clubs is when players have been at the club a long time, they always look at more of the negatives than they do the positives. I take away all that rubbish and deal with what good he brings as well as trying to improve the negative side of his game. And we keep working with our players and we. it's no coincidence that in the three years that players have improved and... Everybody wants me players because they're good players and they've improved as players. So we'll keep working on that. And as the tannoy goes, um, Bob Harris, you, you saw him in action. Did you like what you saw? Yeah, did well, did well. Uh, him and Joe Ponton come in as full-backs. Good, good options to have. And like I say, it's about building a squad over the season. Yeah, and as for Joe Partington, do you see him as a player of the future or anyone you sign, are they there for the present? Uh, listen, for me, everybody, everybody's playing for the future. No matter what game, what training session with me, we, we set high standards at this football club and that's got to continue. So players have always got to impress. Yeah, and is it, um, you'd say playing for their futures, but are players always playing for their futures? With that, that's club? what I mean, yeah, yeah. certainly. We're always, we're always asking for more and demanding more and that'll continue. But let's be honest, look, have a look at where we are and... And uh, we know what's needed. It's not rocket science where we need to improve on and, and players that need to come into the, the squad and the recruitment side of things in the summer. I know I already know where we need to be heading. We need to be making sure we get the right ones. On Monday, Southend and Millwall both lost. Um, are you still, even if it's a slim hope, in for the playoffs? Well, we're in a four-horse race, aren't we? And we're, uh, we're about ten lengths behind, going over two hurdles. So uh, we hope to jump the next hurdle and one or two fallers and gives us a chance for the last game so we'll see but like I say the, the players can be certainly proud of their efforts so far this season and uh, we're guaranteed a top 10 finish I think now as well which is which is testament to the players when, and still in a playoff race with two two games to go albeit an outside of the field It's not beyond the realms is it that your um, your rivals lose two games? Oh who knows we've got to do our business haven't we yeah again it's concentrating it's uh it's a little bit of what could have been as well for me because I'm, I'm like that a little bit so, so I'm not necessarily happy but uh, no we're still in a race which is which is good. Peterborough away is kind of as tough as it gets isn't it in League One? Certainly is tough tough games but they all are like I keep saying to them there's only the arrogant people that look at teams and think well we can beat them because they're there and it doesn't work like that you've got to earn the right to win every single game so we're, we'll have to we'll have to be at our best to beat Peterborough as, as we are any team at this league.